So my name is Eric Stater. I'm a family physician here in Lancaster. Been here for 15 years. Uh, last year, when we opened our new clinic building for High Point Family Medicine in Lancaster, we included uh, a hearing loop in our waiting room, in our reception area, as well as in two of our patient care rooms. And in working with Mike Meyer uh, to set that up, we saw several advantages to it. I think the thing that brought it to our mind was the fact that uh, Dr. Slane uh, has a son with some uh, hearing loss, and we were intrigued by the the way that having a hearing loop uh, might uh, make uh, the interaction with us and our staff more accessible to people with hearing loss. Uh, far and away, most of our patients that, that would utilize a hearing loop are elderly folks, people who have a hearing aid, and uh, when Mike explained how simple that was to utilize the hearing loop with his um, uh, with, with his installation and the hearing aids that most of our patients already have, it seemed like a natural way to really uh, provide, I guess, a benefit or a service to our patients. Uh, one of the unintended consequences that we realized was that it adds some privacy as well, because rather than uh, you, for example, sitting in the room next door, hearing much of the conversation that I'm having with a patient, despite all of our other sound dampening measures, it, when you're shouting at a patient, some of that noise is transmitted. And instead, when I can speak in a normal voice or one of my nurses or staff can speak in their normal voice and be close to the patient, be clearly understood. It makes for better communication and it makes for um, a less likelihood of, of things being overheard that are private or personal in nature. Uh, interestingly, I had a patient a few months ago that uh, is very hard of hearing and she refuses to utilize hearing aids. She wants no part of them and she's very distrustful of technology in general. And my staff had put the headset on her and I went in with the microphone and, and uh, the first thing she told me was, I don't want to use this. I won't use it. And I convinced her just to try it. I said, put it on, try it for a few seconds, see what you think. And within, within 15 seconds, she said, I like this. I said, I do too. I'm not shouting at you. I won't lose my voice trying to have our clinic visit. And by the time we were done with the visit, she thought they were great. And she wondered if uh, she could get something like this at home, <laughs> crazy enough. But uh, so it was a, it was a good story um, to, to see someone that was skeptical and even apprehensive at first uh, turn the corner and, and embrace that technology. Uh, we're pretty proud of it. I mean, we're glad to see that, that we can be doing something that's the first of its kind in the area, especially that's not a gimmick or a novelty, but instead it's a real service to our patients. Uh, uh, we like it. We're, we're glad to have it.